Hello, Green Spring. We are back in the studio, and my next guests are also dancers, Anna Dean and Bob Gulery. Good morning to you. Good, Good morning, Elka. You two are chairing the ballroom dancing group here, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, tell us how that came about. Well, it came about now. Ball, the ballroom dance group has been uh, active in Green Spring, I think, since around 2000. So. Oh, from, from the, the very beginning. beginning, pretty much. Yes, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it was when we when we came. We've only we've only been here six years. Uh, it was active and going going strong. Uh, uh, Shirley Shifford, who yes. you may recall, of who course. passed away, was really the spark plug of the group. Yeah, and uh, I think had been in at the beginning, and she and Hank kept it going. And uh, so Anna and I had been dancing together for about 30 years. Uh huh. And we so you had a little bit of experience. We did <laughs> just a little. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we were interested in the ballroom dance group, and we joined it and uh, met a lot of people. It's mm -hmm. a great way to meet people. Mm hmm. And is that a group where you dress up? I mean, you do the whole thing? It's very no, casual. No. It's casual. very yes. casual. And as a matter of fact, we should change the name. The ballroom dance group sort of, I think, s it makes people think it's like yeah. dancing with the stars. I, it's more social dancing. It's very uh -huh. relaxed and social dancing. And uh, Linda Conlon uh, gives yes. lessons, and they're very basic. We have a few, uh, few people in the group that are it kind of high level dances yeah but for the most part the people that come to our dances are people that are just learning oh okay. most of the people have just learned how to ballroom dance since they came to Greenspring so it's not like you who came with 30 years of experience right. exactly so okay. like I say there are a few of us that have yeah. danced for a long time yeah and are more advanced but for the most part it's just a social dancing group and people just do what well, they want to like do. Fun. It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Now you as the chairs, do you choose the music or <coughs> what does it really mean that you're chairing this group? Well, we have, uh, we have, uh, some, we have recorded music uh -huh. and, and you know, you go by a tempo, you've got to have a certain tempo. And we, so we have dances every Friday night mm -hmm. in the Akatink room. Oh, and that's perfect for dancing, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Floor. Really it good, yeah. really yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and we have a, you usually have about 40 people to come. Really? Yeah. That's nice our group. average, average yeah. group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, um, the, the music uh, is recorded, um, CD is of course now. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then uh, four times a year we have a band. A live band? Live a band. live band. And Ooh. Hunter's uh, Crossing, we have uh, a quarterly. Uh, the next one is December the 6th, uh -huh. and we have a nice, a good band, um, Mike Surratt. He has been our band ever since they started having it here, which oh. is before we came. Yeah. But he's a very good, good band, enjoyable, lively, uh, uh, all variety of music. Good very to listen popular to. in the area. You go to well, that outside. adds an extra element, doesn't mm -hmm. it, when it you does. have live music? It does. Yeah. yeah. And we, we have snacks and and uh, drinks soda yeah. and water <laughs> but people are, are welcome to bring anything else they want and a lot of people especially that dance many people come just to listen to the music yeah. and watch the yeah. dances you know mm -hmm. it's a lot of fun yeah now John Carl your prior guest yes he was very modest because he didn't talk about how great he is at ballroom dancing he was very modest. That's but, him, but then, yes. But then he got involved in this line dancing and he right. dropped out of ballroom. Yeah. <laughs> and oh, he was part of your ballroom dancing yeah. for a while. At the beginning mm -hmm. he was, before uh -huh. we came, he was uh -huh. part of the ballroom dancing. But now he's so into that line dancing, which is great. Yes. I take his yeah. class, of course. But yeah. yeah, any kind of dancing is so good. You know, it is good, good isn't your body it? Because is good your body feels good. Everything, and yeah. It, it automatically brings joy, doesn't right. it? Right, yeah. it's wonderful. And I think it helps that you said it's a social group, so it's, there's no pressure that maybe there's no joy for you because you miss a step or you can't remember A or B. Absolutely. It doesn't seem to right. be the focus of your group. <laughs> no. Absolutely. No. Even sometimes if we don't have enough men to go around, women will get up and dance. So yeah. somebody might be over in the corner doing a line dance. It's, oh, it's just okay. very casual, uh -huh. you know. So we have a lot of fun, yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to ask when you said people dance together 
together as it comes. So you don't have to come as a couple if you want to dance right. and you think, oh, ballroom dancing, I would like to, but I'm alone, so I may not fit in. Oh, that's no. so important. We should have mentioned that. You don't have to be a couple. Yeah. yeah and most people come as singles. Uh -huh. You know, a few couples come, but mostly yeah. singles. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, because sometimes uh, single people feel uncomfortable when they are surrounded by mostly couples, I, right. I hear, right? Well, just if you feel uncomfortable, call me, I'll save you a place <laughs> <laughs> right next to That's me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> because we, uh, everybody is so friendly. And just when you have good music and you dance, you forget that, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Just well, puts all, you in another world. We all dance around with all, you know, the ladies and all dance with all the men and the men with all the ladies. So it's okay. not just, not it's just not like, Anna and I will, We'll be there, but we'll probably dance only one or two dances together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the men, as the men that come, are so wonderful. They make sure that every lady there dances. You mm -hmm. know. Yeah. And then a few people just come to sit around and visit. You know, to talk and, uh -huh. and enjoy so uh, socialization. You know, mm -hmm. it's just really wonderful. And don't you sit and sing together afterwards? Is that the same so, group? Well, <laughs> <laughs> am I not supposed to no, talk about no, that? No, no, no. That's fine. Because sometimes I come back from. Uh, exactly. Friday night services at my synagogue, and you all <laughs> seem to like such a wonderful group. Right. Well, we're having such a good time at the dance. That's yeah. over at nine. So after that, we go up to the lobby and we yeah. call it our after party. After after party. Yeah, uh -huh. our after party. <laughs> and we bring snacks and we sit around. Sometimes we sing or tell stories or you know, it's just a, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so if I wanted to come and I don't know these dances, then what do you do with me? Oh, how about the lessons. Well, we should tell you about the lessons. Yeah. Free lessons. Ooh, free. free. Uh, every Sunday evening, most months, I think we skipped de December, we don't have them because people are too busy yeah. in December. But, um, yeah. Uh, Linda Conlon is in charge of, of teaching and she is a professional dance teacher. She's oh, a great really teacher. Really good. Okay. Uh huh. And uh, so we just teach, just teach the basic, the beginner steps to get yeah. people in involved and introduced into the dancing uh -huh. every sunday from uh, uh seven to eight right Correct. sunday night uh -huh. and then on wednesday we have a workshop where we practice the steps that oh, really? linda has taught on or linda or some of us help linda teach but yeah uh, what we've learned on sunday we practice wednesday night uh -huh. so then we're ready for the friday night dance wow, so that, <laughs> three times a week i we was really. going to say that takes yeah. over your life before you know it right <laughs> sunday wednesday Plus friday the line Oh, dancing. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so good. yeah, I remember when I was 15, we all in my school, we all went to dance uh -huh. class oh. after school and had to learn the one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Uh, and then waltz. the one to the waltz and <laughs> then the one, two, three, four. Yeah, right. Foxtrot right. or whatever it That's was. That's right. You yeah. know a lot about dancing. Okay. A lot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so things to remember. Okay. It's all free, okay? Yes. Except for the band dance, we have to charge because we have to pay for the band on of that course. once every every three months. Every quarter, so, yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's eight dollars if you buy a ticket, ten dollars uh -huh. at the door. Okay, uh, in the Akatink room. Yes. Every Friday night from seven to nine. Okay. Come and to don't have to be dressed up. Don't have no, to no, be casual. dressed up. Don't have to be a partner. Just come one and all. Mm -hmm. You know, come listen to the music, dance, visit with your friends. Okay. So, if you want to put a little fun in your life, come dancing. <laughs> <laughs> That's your slogan. <laughs> Discover the joy of it. I say, you know, it releases yeah. the endorphins it, it and does. it makes you happy. It definitely does. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like any movement. But <laughs> That's right. It's nice. It's easier, I find, to move to music. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, do you have a particular genre of music that uh, you play? Well, or? it's all it's all older music. We don't. We don't, that they don't, there's much dance music for us that's made today. It's all goes back probably to the 60s and b before that. It's, uh, every, I would say before the 60s, every, you know, it's yeah. all the. It's uh, pre Beatles era. Oh, yeah. yeah that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, because ballroom dancing, it, uh, it, it, you know, it's, a, it's a numerical. It's one, two, yes. three. So you've mm -hmm. got to have a rhythm and you've got to have a regularity in it. Yeah. And most of the new music doesn't have that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it's got, it has to be uh, 
Uh, and the, when we say oldies, we don't mean the <laughs> 60s. We mean <laughs> everything before the 50s, <laughs> 30s. <laughs> but many people who live here will be familiar with that oh, and absolutely. comfortable with that music. Oh, yeah, it's their music, yeah, their kind yeah, of music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah like they grew up with. Now, Anna's been dancing since she was like you, probably 15. Uh -huh. No, younger than that. I, I learned to dance when I learned to walk. My father was oh, a wow. great, my father was a great dancer, uh -huh. international dancer. He actually ran, ran dances, you know. Oh. They so it's in your them. blood. Yeah, and my mother didn't like to dance, so my sister and I got the benefit of my father mm -hmm. and, and the functions we went to, which were a lot, you know, we're an yeah. Italian family, always a celebration, yes. so we're always yeah. dancing and for always some music, reason. And always music and always community. Right, and, uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. so um, uh -huh. I danced growing up, but then Bob learned when... Yeah, I just started dancing, uh, uh, actually, sort of middle age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And we uh, met at a, at a studio where he was taking lessons. And, ah, yeah. ah. And well, now that yeah. our uh, show is nearly over, now you get to the interesting part. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I think you're right. Dances and dancing is such a fun part of life, can be anyway. And I want to thank you for sharing that group because it's really important that we have that here at Greenspring. John said earlier on it's good physically, keeps you going, uh -huh. and mentally because you have to memorize things. And you also uh -huh. focus on, on the fun and the social aspect. Uh -huh, so yes. yeah. there's really nothing bad about it, right? Exactly. So people, show up Friday <laughs> yes, night at 7 o'clock at the Accutting Room. It and if you Friday. feel you don't know anything about it, you go to one of those lessons on Sundays or Wednesdays and enrich your life that way. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It was fun talking with you, Anna and Bob. Thanks.